In this video, I'm going to show you how to install FSR 3.1 frame generation into Cyberpunk 2077 on Nvidia, AMD and Intel cards. I'm using the free version of the game 2.12 H1. So if you have a older version of the game, I can guarantee this will work, it will, but I don't know. What? You need these files. Virus Phobia people can download each and every one of these files and follow up the rest of the video. Other lazy people out there can download the file I provided. Same files, no changes, just everything in one place. All the links will be in the description. And one other thing, I made this account because a lot of AMD guys complaining that their mods doesn't work for them. So if I had an AMD card myself, I can test and let you guys know if it's working or not. Uh, in the situation that I'm in right now, I can't spend money on my computer. So if you have extra money, I really appreciate the support. If you don't, you can support by uh, liking and subscribing to the channel. Anyway, after you download everything, open the game file location. For GTX and RTX card uses, you can use this file. Copy everything to the game exe location. For Intel and AMD users, go to the AMD Intel folder and do the same thing, but one extra step. Make sure to run the Disable Signature Checks registry file. Since I'm using the NVIDIA file, I don't need to do this. After copying everything, find this nvngx.ini file and open it. This first option doesn't matter. You can either set this to auto or change it like this. Then in the upscaler section, make sure to change the DX12 upscaler to FSR 3.1, that is FSR 31. Then open the game one time to see if the upscaling and FG is working. So you can see now I have the DLSS option. And when you turn on frame generation, you can see a big FPS bump, but the uh, ghosting issue is here. Game is smooth. So let's fix the ghosting issue. But before you do that, for this fix to work properly, you need at least 55 FPS with or without upscaling and without frame generation. It will work if you don't have that FPS amount, but it will have some issues. So I don't have 55 FPS without frame generation and I will have to lower some settings to hit that target. So this is good. Now I can install the fix. Go to the fix folder and extract everything in here to game folder, not the application folder. After everything, go to the FSR3 Ghost in Fix folder and copy everything there to the game folder too. When you first open the game, a mod will tell you to bound a key. Click on unbound and press a key that you don't use for the game often. So the fix is working. And the remaining ghost in things are in game ones. Even the in-game XCSS and FSR has some ghosting. When you press insert key on your keyboard, you can get this menu. If you are a regular viewer, uh, this menu is not a strange thing to you. Play around with settings and set the settings to your liking. Sometimes the menu will bug out if you do too many changes. When that happens, restart the game. So for me, FSR 3.1 upscaling and FSR 2.3.2 settings are the best options.
So if you want to remove the frame generation mode, you will have to delete every file that you copy before uh, from the game directory. So that's it for this video. If you want to see graphics mode with frame generation, let me know in the comments. And the next video will be Assassin's Creed Valhalla FSR 3. Until next time, adios amigos.